guys, so today is another day of exploring Singapore. Before we head out, I just wanted to show you guys my outfit for today. So over the past years, I've been leaning towards neutral pieces. I think it comes with age and also because I just want to mix and match. Today, I'm wearing a black and beige combination. It's just my go-to colors whenever I head out just because I don't have to think so much and it can match almost any background. So I'm pairing it with my new bag from Bera Bera. If you're not yet familiar with the brand, it's a London-based brand selling handmade leather bags for both women and men. I got three bags from them and the moment I got the bag, I could really smell the leather. You can really tell that it's handmade and it's really well-crafted and high quality. The first handbag I got is called the Alex Mini in black. And this is my favorite piece among all because it's just so cute. It has this really nice vintage tartan lining that just gives you that old school kind of vibe. It looks small but it can fit a lot of things. It can fit my phone, my glasses, all my essentials whenever I head out. This bag also comes in two straps. It comes in a leather black strap well as a brass chain strap so you can really dress it up or dress it down based on your mood or your outfit. For today's outfit, I'm using the brass chain strap and I really like it because it's not too shiny. It just gives that laid back casual kind of look while still looking very classy. Even if I'm wearing a very casual outfit, it just kind of elevates it in a way. I would wear the black leather strap for more casual outfits like when I'm wearing jeans. I think it really depends on your preference and your personal style. Those are just some ideas. What I love about this bag, it's also not bulky. It comes out very flat. Next bag I got is this Mary handbag in black. It's so beautiful, it has a really unique shape, it's very chic and classy. It reminds me of the olden days but in a more modern style. It gives you that vintage princess feel, I don't know. So the opening has a very nice brass hardware. When you open it, the inner lining is suede. So this bag comes in two handles, has a top handle over here and also comes with a long strap. So it's very versatile. It also has a back pocket, so if you have cards that you want to easily access, you can just put it over here. It also has feet to keep your bag protected, so you can just put it on top of a table or on the floor if you don't have a bag hook. So the last bag I got is called Ines in Brown. This one is so nice. It's very unique as well. I think I've said unique so many times. This one comes in different kinds of brown and also black. I chose this shade of brown just because I don't have something like this yet in my closet. This one also comes in a brass hardware. I really like that it is quite imperfect. Like you can see that there are some scratches because it gives so much more character to the bag. It just looks more vintage that way. So if you're looking for a handbag that looks small but is actually really spacious. I would really suggest this. If you're the type of girl who just likes to dump all her things when she's in a rush or if you're usually very busy, I would suggest this handbag because you can really fit a lot of things here. Those are the three bags I got from Bera Bera. I highly recommend the brand if you're looking for a classic bag that you want to keep for forever. It's really going to last you so long because it's made from natural leather and it's really made of really good quality. I can assure you that once you get your bag, you'll really be so happy and it will really be worth your money. Check them out and let me know in the comment section down below what you think as well if you get one. So we're heading to our first stop. It's quite sunny today. So we're using an umbrella. Just a tip, if you're coming to Singapore, weather is quite unpredictable. Always make sure to bring an umbrella. Hey! Let's go, Pete. We're late. I know, I know. It's an Italian restaurant, so I'll show you guys the menu. I can't wait to try it out for myself. 
wanted to eat outside, but it's really, really so hot. We tried, but we moved inside because it's much cooler. The ambiance is also nice, not too formal, so it's perfect for casual date nights as well. So they gave us complimentary bread. Nothing special. I like the olive oil though. We ordered the salad bowl from Swim. Mozzarella. That's what they're known for. It's a mozzarella bar. So we had to get this. Avocado is not bitter. Very sublime, as my mom would say. Describe mozzarella. I can't really describe it in an eloquent way, but I love cheese. I love blue cheese, even if it smells. Very. Very muted. Muted. We're excited to try the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Ooh, it's a whole pumpkin. Squids, artichoke. I think we over ordered. It's a lot of food. I'm gonna try the mac and cheese. I'm so excited. It's insane. Definitely not your box mac and cheese. You can't taste the pumpkin though. You have to scrape it out. Let's see if it works well together. It's pretty expensive but it's worth it because the serving size is also huge. This is a must order here. I'm gonna try the risotto that Martin got. It's one of their specials this month. Mm, it's so fresh. It's not frozen like the usual that you buy in the grocery. It's pesto risotto. It's not too salty but it's still very flavorful. Mm, it really goes well with the shrimp. It's so good. Highly recommend. Overall the food here is good. You can get a set menu for $30 on a weekday for two courses. Just here that we ordered, they're like $30 each, more or less. absolutely did not disappoint. I would highly recommend it. I would give it 4.5 out of 5 because it's really well worth it. The serving sizes are huge. We didn't even get to finish everything because it's just too much for two people. For the service, I would rate it 5 out of 5 as well. They're very chill, very attentive. I also suggest that you come after lunch so that you can also dine outside when it's not too hot. They have a really nice garden area. I would definitely come back. This restaurant is located in Duxton Hill. Duxton Hill is actually a really hip area. There are a lot of cafes, restaurants here that you can go to. It's not also crowded. That's why I really like it. Unlike other prime areas in Singapore, it's also in a good location. So head here if you're looking for a different alternative or a different kind of food scene. The restaurant slash bar I want to try. That is the famous HBB called Pinnacle and the construction that is causing so much noise. I 
by this famous gelato place called Birds of Paradise. This is actually their newly opened branch. They have one originally in Chuwal Changi, which also has a long queue if ever you go there. I wanted to try this one out, but it also has a long queue. I think if you come here on a weekday, it's not so bad. It's actually really pretty and very aesthetic. There's a park right near Birds of Paradise. It's at the back. You can head here if you can't find any seating. It's very windy, very chill. It's actually beside Pinnacle, which is an HDB here in Singapore. HDB is an apartment. We're here now at Everton Road or Everton Park. It's very close by Pinnacle if you have the energy to walk. There's a lot of cafes and really quaint shops here. And they also have murals. So I'll show you guys the ones we've seen. Like this one. Summer's end by the campfire. All my friends in our empire. Yeah, wasted time never feels wasted. When I'm wasted lately, I, I've been questioning what I, what I'm doing here. I'm burdened by the weight of who we were. And it hurts to leave Please don't make me feel guilty I know I'm guilty, please I'm so sick of feeling down stuck in this city We're On the way to our next stop A 51-story building It was completed last year, 2021 And it's a mixed development So there's a hawker center There's office uh, service apartments And there's also a roof deck Which is open to the public so it's completely free so that's why we're heading there i actually haven't gone to the marina sky park which is the observatory deck that's famous for tourists but that one has a fee i'm not sure how much it costs so we're going to this one instead also looks really nice a lot of greens which i love as you guys know So guys, but they're closed on weekends, unfortunately. The last post that I saw said that it was open every day. So I'm not so sure when they applied the change. But in case you guys are looking for an overlooking view of Singapore, I highly recommend this one. It's completely free. You can just head there on a weekday. We're just gonna explore instead the CBD area, which I guess not a lot of tourists would go to. For a CBD, this place is actually filled with a lot of greens. So let's explore here instead. I woke up with this pain in my neck Had no medicine to keep me in check To the places where we used to meet before Cause lately I've been feeling so confused We've gone our separate ways and never see your face to face But in my dreams I'm always running back to you So tell me why I'm tripping over lines drawn between you See the area is actually really nice It has a different kind of vibe from Orchard and all the touristy spots so I would still recommend coming here so that you can also check out the roof deck to take some nice skyline photos. This bar is packed. I'm at Nami Island, Singapore version. Just walking along Marina Bay. Very nice, it's not sunny at all. It's quite windy, so many people are biking and just chilling here. Oh, it's just really nice when the weather is windy. We 
made it to our next stop, Marina Barrage, which is another overlooking spot. But unfortunately, as you can see, it's visiting just when we arrived. Just our luck. I don't know why <laughs> we can't even visit this two sites that we wanted to go to today. I wanted to take you guys here since Capita Spring is closed. But unfortunately, it's raining. I'll just show you guys anyways. Because it's a nice free spot to see city skyline but not too high. Still nice, very relaxing. Especially if the weather is good. So everyone is going down and we're going up. Oh no, the rain is getting stronger. Finally made it to the top. It's really noisy because there are a lot of kids and there are a lot of people but because of the rain it cleared up. A lot of people went down so I guess it's a good sight to it a bit drizzling right now. Super nice. It's my third time here and I recommend that you come here. You can have a picnic, you can fly a kite. So much things to do here. You just want to chill. Right? We went here in like 2018 together, but I went here recently with my schoolmates. It started to rain again. I think that's our sign to go home. 